Hi there, my name is Simon and welcome to juices.co.uk. Today we're going to have a look at the CNC80 in the context of the modern era. It's a few years old now and has remained a very popular entry-level model for all that time. But does it still stand up to the competition? And most importantly, is it still worth buying? Let's find out. Now, when it comes to features, the Amiga CNC80 wasn't made to be flashy with loads of new ideas. It's an entry-level juicer, and as a result, it instead aims to offer high-quality juicing at a more reasonable price point. However, in order to do this, Omega has in turn given it an interesting feature, in the form of a completely unique mechanism made specifically for the CNC80. In essence, this mechanism emulates the classic Omega formula, but in a much more compact format, quite literally, as all the parts have been effectively squished into mini versions of the traditional designs. When compared side by side with full-size Amiga parts, they are clearly different. Yet, on a detailed examination, they have the same markings and fittings, just more compressed. Naturally, this compact mechanism reduces costs by using less materials. But what's really impressive is how little effect the minified designs have on performance. Although we'll cover this in more detail momentarily. The mechanism also makes use of a pressure adjustment nozzle. This sits on the tip of the end cap and can be twisted to different positions, varying the amount of pressure applied to pulp as it is ejected from the juicer. This ensures that ingredients are pressed as well as they can be, and has become a common feature for many modern horizontal juicers. Beyond the incredibly unique mechanism, the CNC80 also flexes a strong selection of accessories, exceeding the offerings of pretty much every other entry-level horizontal model. As might be expected, it comes with both a juice and pulp collection container, along with a cleaning brush, pusher, and juice sieve. However, on the more interesting end of the scale, it also offers up a blank screen and a set of six different homogenizing nozzles. This blank screen and nozzle set can be used together in place of the fine screen to perform functions outside of juicing. This includes, but is not limited to, making nut butter, sorbet, pasta, or breadcrumbs. Moving back to its performance, it would be quite reasonable to assume that the Amiga CNC80's unique compact mechanism would limit its ability to properly juice ingredients. Back when it was released, that's what we had expected too, but in practice, the impact is minimal. That's not to say it's as good as Omega's full-size mechanism. If it was, all their products would be using the compact version. But considering how much material has been shaved off, it handles itself well, and its juice yields are much higher than they really ought to be. As with most Omega horizontal juicers, the CNC80 works at a steady speed of 80 rotations per minute. Even with the smaller parts, this proves to be an optimal speed, giving ingredients plenty of time to be thoroughly crushed and juiced by the auger without taking too long about it. It also proves capable of juicing a wide range of ingredients. This includes soft fruits, such as oranges, hard fruits, such as apples, and root vegetables, such as carrots. Surprisingly, it's also able to efficiently process the likes of celery and leafy greens, which are known to challenge many entry-level juicers. Last of all, the previously mentioned pressure-adjusting nozzle proves itself useful in reality, and is particularly useful to get maximum yields from tougher ingredients, keeping waste to a minimum. Now, while it's proven its performance, we also have to judge the CNC80 on the experience it offers. To that end, it can be regarded as average across the board. The juicing experience is solid, relatively easy, and adaptable. The compact nature of the parts doesn't have any notable impact on the ease of feeding or juicing time, which is nice. It's a similar situation when it comes to cleaning. And while most of the parts can be rinsed clean quickly under warm water, the juicing screen, as ever, proves a bit more challenging and typically requires the aid of a stout cleaning brush to be effectively declogged of pulp. The assembly process is also very standard, although in this regard, the compact mechanism is actually beneficial as the smaller parts are arguably a bit easier to assemble. 
That doesn't amount to much of a time save though, and the process as a whole is the same as other horizontal models, starting with the drum guide, then the auger, the screen, and finally the end cap and nozzle seal everything together. Finally, let's take a look at an often overlooked area, build quality. As would be expected of an Amiga juicer, the CNC80 is built incredibly well from a range of high quality BPA free plastics. This ensures that it won't leach chemicals into the juices it extracts. The parts have also been individually optimized to best suit their role. For example, the juicing screen is reinforced with a stainless steel inner lining, vastly increasing its resistance to cracking from the pressure of juicing. The auger and drum guide have also received similar treatment. However, they have been made out of higher quality plastics instead, namely GE Ultim and Triton. These plastics are known for being far tougher than standard ABS and are effectively able to resist wear from use over time. Thanks to these qualities, the CNC80 is supported by a long 15 year manufacturer's defect warranty by Omega. This covers both the parts and the motor, providing a bit of peace of mind in case something goes wrong when it shouldn't. Beyond its structural stability, the very compact and practical design of the CNC80 is also noteworthy. Not many products have focused on this area, and it's great to see a juicer that can genuinely be used in any kitchen. So with all that in mind, it's amazing how relevant the CNC80 still is today. Very few decent entry-level models have been released since it came out, and honestly, it would be tough for them to offer a better package at a similar price. The compact mechanism is a really creative way to be able to reduce manufacturing costs. And in our opinion, it's a much better alternative to using cheaper, lower quality parts and materials. Not to mention the CNC80 still manages to come with loads of accessories. So if you're getting started with juicing or want a new model at a more affordable price, the Omega CNC80 is a superb option that should easily meet your needs. As always, thank you for joining us and we hope that you found this review useful. If you did, be sure to give it a like and we'd also love to hear your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. For more content like this, be sure to check out our channel and subscribe to stay up to date with our latest releases. Be sure to have a lovely day and we'll catch you next time.